The Disciples on the Road to Emmaus is a story typical of Luke's literary style. He loves creating episodes where the divine energy of Christ enters the horizon of temporality in order to reveal and illuminate, to redirect and realign history. We see it time and time again with the healings, the miracles and the parables in Luke. Things that were unfolding in a very normal and human way get turned upside down and inside out because they have encountered God in Christ. This story today, however, though similar to all the others, is arguably among the most important. It could be you or I, couldn't it, chatting as we wander along the road about the things we have seen from afar, the things we have heard whisper of, the rumour and the scandal being spoken of all about the city. Then along comes this stranger who apparently hasn't heard a word of it yet, and so, well, this is a story too good to be kept to oneself, the story must be told. Yet it's notable that the story is told in an abstract and objective manner, spoken of as things that have happened to other people, things witnessed from a distance, stories that have been heard second hand. Then there is this wonderful moment when you can almost hear the penny dropping from within the text, a great aha, a great alleluia. They see who they are talking with and suddenly the stories stop being abstract, objective and distant. Suddenly the story is theirs no longer carried just in their head, but woven into their heart. Over the breaking of bread, eyes have made contact, friendship shared and relationship formed, transcendence into imminence, confusion into clarity. Recently, here in my study, I was sat with an inquirer into the faith, and in the middle of our rich and far-reaching conversation, he suddenly says, but this is all just a theory, isn't it? My mind raced through all the books I have on my shelves, looking for a quote or a pithy apologetic to spring into action, and I suddenly realised that the only thing I could really offer was my own encounter with the risen Christ. I had to describe how he had met me, made eye contact with me, I had broken bread with him, he had brought me home, and so powerful was this encounter that I gave my life back to him. Today's gospel story is a jewel in the Christian faith, in the Christian story, because it is the motif for all Christians. An encounter with the risen Christ in the midst of the very human and ordinary, as we walk our own roads to Emmaus, will always reveal that this story that has spanned thousands and thousands of years for the people of God has each of our own names written clearly in the narrative.